Well, I think it's August 10th and I have COVID. I'm stuck up here on the third floor away from my family. I have to call for food and water and supplies because I don't have a little string to pull for the invalid on the third floor. But all I do is sleep and watch TV a little bit. In my last video, I talked myself into another, oh, I'm ashamed to say it. The Cine Kodak Model BB I looked up and I saw such a nice presentation with the year of manufacture, 1925 to 1931 made out of, covered with ostrich leather. It's the brown Cine Kodak Model BB, which I like so much. Now since I changed the one I have to single perf, ah, I wanted a double perf. Uh. This, this feels like ostrich leather also. Oh man. nothing else in here. There, there's a space for a telephoto lens, which I have in another box, but it's cloudy and stuff. But they did make them. This one's real nice. You push this. You don't turn it. You just push it. Open has to be towards the front of the camera. That part of the lid has a cutout, and that's what you can grab to open it. It's right where the lens goes, and your finger can grab it and pull it open. That's how you open it. And it'll open. All right, this little door opens. There's some gunk in there. There's some corrosion in here. And this is immobile. It's supposed to come over and move. And it's totally frozen. It's stuck in place. The wheel turns. Stiffness from the gunk. The uh, yeah, very stiff. The lever for the film is stiff, so it just needs a drop of oil on it and work it a little bit. I think the oil's down in the basement, but I have, I might have some in the workstation. Let's see if it's wound up at all. Good, it was not. Not supposed to keep them wound up. Very quiet. The aperture moves. The focus moves. goes down to below two feet. No. I think that's broken because all it does is spin. <laughs> There's a... Uh, yeah, this lens is crap. It turns and turns and turns but it doesn't stop turning. So I'll have to uh, look into that.
Yeah, that's pretty cloudy. The camera works. I have other lenses. This is a double perforated cog wheel that has not been modified. That's a double perforated drive wheel. And I'll get to it. I'll look at the film, perhaps. The video, I think, had some film in the camera. But it wasn't these rolls, because these are unbroken. Kodachrome safety film. It's an unbroken seal. The older one is brighter. And you get an instruction book. Cine Kodak Model BB. And a bunch of, here's a, a belt, an extra belt. And all kinds of papers. Cheat sheets, focal distances, if one could fix the lens. Alright, there's a project. What I used to do was to take the film out of here, throw the boxes away, and uh, put new film on the reels. That's what I used to do. But since I have a bunch of film cans and spools, and you need two spools, you know, one with film and then one without film for take-up, which this purchase provides. If this comes off and a filter could be put in there instead. It's a little cloudy in there. I wonder how you take the lens apart. Oh, there's a screw in the side. There's one screw by the MM. And there's one screw by the Kodak. So I'll get a little teeny screwdriver and see if I can't take it apart. Oh, there's another screw on the knurled part. Hmm. Huh. So, is there another one? No, oh, just one. And there's a knurled uh, ring, a big one, and then there's a real thin knurled ring. And they do not move independently. So it goes to a certain distance, and then it stops, and it goes much too far the other direction, and then it stops. Where's the little pointy thing? There's the indicator for the footage. So I think if I unscrew those two screws and try to find where the focus is, I might get it to work. And this needs to have some cleaning oil. Click. I'll leave the lens off because it doesn't work. Nifty box. All right. That cost a hundred bucks and twenty-seven to ship it in just a three days, I think. Twenty dollars expedited shipping plus. Uh, tax, you know, seven dollars, twenty-seven, in some sense. There's a big label on the side, great white 
fleet. Is that a navy thing? Pretty scuffed up. No tears. But very, very few, like, you know, little scuffy things. Dirty, but smooth. Very nice. I guess I could leave this inside so I know how much I paid for it. In case I ever want to sell it. Don't forget to send us a review. Ha! <laughs> he had a very thorough presentation, showed it working, shined a light through the lens and everything, but didn't open it up and nor talk about that uh, bar for the film counter being totally stuck. Didn't talk about that. <clears throat> so that's my joy for the day.